Hey guys, it's Mike from Portfolio Customs again. Uh, today I'm going to show you a quick demonstration uh, the difference between a shrink and a stretch. Uh, to get, you know, with a shrink you'll have a compound curve, and with a stretch uh, you'll have a reverse curve. Uh, so we're going to use the power hammer, and I'll demo those two different shapes uh, with thumbnail shrinking dies and a linear stretch die. Okay, first we're going to put in uh, some compound shape with the shrinking dies. Uh, I'll run it in, and I'll show you how the tuck is formed with the thumbnail die. So here you can see the tuck being formed by the thumbnail die, and I shrink up to my light line. Uh, so now the rest of the video is going to be a little speed, uh, sped up uh, while we shrink this entire panel. So here you can see that we've shrunk, you know, four sets of shrinks all the way across. Uh, we will set this to the side and I'll demonstrate the same effect with a linear stretch die. And then we'll planish both out and you can see a uh, comparison versus a, a compound with a shrink and a reverse with a stretch. So here we have the same shape panel as that we did with the shrinking. Uh, the only difference is, is we're going to linear stretch this to get a reverse. Uh, so I'll start demonstrating that and then we will put the planishing dies and we'll smooth them both for comparison.
So here you can see that the panel is starting to reverse. And now I'll switch the dies out and we'll put planishing dies in and get them smooth. Cool. Now we put some planishing dies in the power hammer and we'll go ahead and blend all the shrinks out. And you can see how smooth we can make this. So you can see we've blended out all our shrinks and it's nice and smooth. I'll go ahead and we'll planish out the reverse panel as well. And there we've blended out all our stretch marks on the reverse panel. So here you can see the compound shape that is put in with the shrinking dies. And here is a reverse that is put in with stretching dies.